Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanya, and today I'm going to do a vlog for you. Um, this is a weekend vlog. I'm sorry, I had to turn on another light because it was dark. Um, and so yeah, right now my husband is making um, stuff for nachos, nacho dip. That's what we're going to have for dinner tonight is nachos. So we're just doing like meat, cheese, and cream cheese or whatever. And nachos and then um i'm gonna go eat sour cream because i have to have sour cream for my nachos i love my husband because he likes to cook and i hate to cook right joe yep. <laughs> what else i'm going to show you in um today's vlog is um savannah went to her very very first uh rock concert last night with uh her boyfriend jose it was a christmas present from jose to her for both of them and they went and saw the opening act was called Plush, which none of us had ever heard of. And she told me she wasn't really a big fan of it. Um, and then after Plush was Falling in Reverse, and um, her and Jose are huge fans of Falling in Reverse. Um, and then after that was Disturbed, the headlining act, which she said it felt so kind of unreal because... I raised her on disturbed music and core music, of course, and like all that type of stuff, Lincoln Park, all of that. And uh, so being raised on disturbed music all her life and then seeing them in concert um, for the first time, just live, it, she was she was ecstatic. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, I guess she can tell you about it if, if she wants to in this vlog later on. But um, I'm going to go ahead and add some clips throughout this video of them um at the concert or pictures or something i'm not sure where, where i'm going to put in this video but somewhere in this video will be clips of them at the concert okay guys i am sitting here at a hux gas station but here's the situation i just left the house to come uh somewhere to get sour cream for the nachos and um i avoided the closest place to my house which is a casey's gas station because if they do even have sour cream it would be very expensive but so instead, I decided to go just a little bit further to the Dollar General because I know that they have sour cream. Uh, closed for no goddamn reason. Um, they do this all the time. They just randomly close and I don't know why and it's really annoying. So then I went to the next closest Dollar General and they were open, thank God. And I went in and they were out of sour cream. Out of sour cream. I'm very annoyed. So then I came up to this Hux gas station, uh, which is, you know, in between the two dollar generals. And I was like, fine, I'll just go to this gas station and, and I'll get sour cream here. They don't sell sour cream. So what I'm going to do now, because I don't want to drive all the way to the freaking grocery store, because there's no grocery stores near my house. None. There's a million grocery stores in this town and they are all on the other side of town. It's really stupid, the setup of this of everything so i'm gonna drive to casey's and i'm gonna see if they have sour cream and uh i'm thinking that it's probably an 80 percent chance that uh they don't even have it and then i just won't have sour cream with my nachos which i cannot do um and if they do have it i will be paying uh an arm and a leg for it but if they don't have it i, I don't know if i just want to go home or what I want to do, because I don't want to drive all the way to the gas station. I'm really annoyed. My plate of nachos and cheese. And my mound of sour cream. Homemade my nacho dip, or whatever cheese dip that my uh, husband made. Just, um, uh, hamburger meat, Velveeta cheese, cream cheese. I don't know how much of anything he put in there, though. He also said you could have put like salsa, salsa and what else? Black beans. Black beans, but we didn't do that. I don't need to do that. Toady bean. Toady bean. It's a toady poo bean. It's a toady poo bean. <laughs> I love you, baby.
<laughs> Violet. Well, this is Cody. Violet. Cody's sister. Ghost. Milo. Down here, we have Pika. She was up here earlier. Right there, we have Samara. Right there, we have Twisty. <laughs> oh, so funny. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Sunday. Um, I didn't film anything all day today because it's been a really crazy hectic day i don't know what you're saying <coughs> really um and so this is the first time i've been able to just uh sit down and film anything my husband just door dashed me um some dinner from a restaurant called barrel house um i think it's a, a restaurant that's uh, chain so it's in a lot of places so if you if you know what I'm talking about or have been to one let me know in the comments below and let me know what you order from there my favorite thing to get from there is the um, pulled pork sandwich with the coleslaw and the like fries or whatever you want on the side um, oh my god I can't tell you how freaking amazing <coughs> this thing is here's the bun Look at that. Look at that coleslaw pulled pork. Oh. oh my god. The onions. Oh, it's so good. It's so you can't really pick it up and bite into it though, because it's so messy. So what I do is usually cut it in half and then eat it with a fork. And of course the fries. Okay, we're back. So, uh, so I wanted to finish off my weekend vlog because, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> so rudely interrupt me. No, um, because it's Wednesday, so I need to finish this vlog. But so what happened this week is Monday. Is that Monday? I took my cat Twisty into the vet to get fixed finally, and so he is finally fixed. Um, and he's doing really, really well. And then the only other thing that I have to talk about, or I don't have to talk about, is Savannah's concert. She wanted to tell you guys how her concert went. Does that, do, do any of you guys like kind of stick your tongue out when you cough, or is that just a me thing? Because Josie said it's just a me thing. You stick your tongue out of your I'm mouth. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no one does that. He's like, you look like a toddler trying to cough. Yeah, a toddler's toddler. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, so Disturbed was doing their Take Back Your Life tour with Falling in Reverse and Plush. And Joe's got me these tickets for Christmas. So it was Friday, we went. It sucks that the concert was so early. Like, it was an early time for a concert. Because when we got there, it was rush hour in a city. So that was in nice. In a city. Yeah, in a city. What? <laughs> it's just funny. It was rush hour. So that sucks. But we made friends with some old people. You made friends with old people? Yeah, you in the, in the parking that. garage elevator. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, you're going to be mad if you know what their age. Because I call them old people, but they, they weren't even old. They, they were middle-aged people. They were like 40, 50. <laughs> but, okay. So we got in there, sat down. Um, Plush was the opener. Plush is like a smaller all-girl band. And we were not sure how we would feel about them and we didn't really like them sorry to plush i'm not trying to hate if you guys like plush we personally did not like them i kind of thought or josie and i both kind of thought that all of their songs sounded the same because josie noticed that their drums their drummer was doing the same set for every song and like it just, i don't know it just wasn't the best so we kind of were like oh, okay then falling in reverse came on and see josie and i both love falling in reverse and disturbed so see, being able to see them both together like two bands that we like ooh. so you know ronnie came on that feels really good huh yeah i'm very aware i'm an asshole too ooh. just like you
And he did some amazing songs. Um, my favorite song, though, I didn't think he was going to do because it wasn't in any of the set lists. It wasn't, like, I didn't think he was going to do this song. But he saved it for last. And then he did the song. And I was so happy and fangirling so hard to see that song live. Because I literally scream it in the car 24-7. Well, like I told you, most bands will save like one big popular song for like Right, but everyone knew what his other songs were, but that one was never mentioned. Like obviously like Voices in My Head was played and like all these other songs that everyone knew he was gonna do. And then he also did some talking and like it was really fun. It was a good time. And then there was a long break in between him and Disturbed. It was so we literally we got up because we were dying of thirst because we were screaming falling in reverse so we got up and we got drinks and then we sat back down and then we were like you know what we probably have time to get merch now so after sitting down we had to leave again and then we got merch which so this is one of the merch i got it's a disturbed hoodie and i also got a falling in reverse t-shirt so and josie got the same things we matched and uh a beanie a falling in reverse beanie what does he like better, Disturbed or Falling in Reverse? I don't know. I feel like he listens to Falling in Reverse more often. Because Falling in Reverse is newer. What about you? Do I like more? Yeah. Well, I grew up on Disturbed, so I have a bias towards them. But at the same time, recently I've been listening to a lot of... Like, Falling in Reverse has been more listened to recently by me. Started as like an emo time, the emo times, I think. So, so are they no longer considered an emo band? No, or, no. Oh. So, is their newer stuff more like metal? More like well, it's all rock, but he also raps. Oh, he does. Yeah, it's like well, like um, how Mike raps in Linkin Park because it's like rock music with rap over okay. it. But it's insane seeing him rap live because he is the fastest rapper. Really? Oh, he's so fast. I have no idea how he does it. It's insane. I Yeah, that is that is something that is a true talent because I can never. Like, it's so fast to where, like, if you know the words, you know what he's saying. But if you don't know the words, then it's hard to tell what he's saying because he literally is so fast. I mean, it's like that rock music, too, though. Yeah, it's insane seeing him rap live. Guys, his voice sounds amazing live, too. So if you ever were wondering if falling in reverse would be fun to see live he has a lot of energy and stage presence he interacts with the crowd and like talks and his vocals are amazing live so okay so my only experience with falling in reverse is when you showed me that video that i reacted to mm -hmm. um it, my that's my only experience with them as far as like what they look like as it's the only video i ever watched mm -hmm. so that's all i had to base anything off of but Clearly, that was like 10 years ago during the big emo time. Mm -hmm. So um, when Savannah showed me clips of him the other night, I, it doesn't even look like, I mean, it's far away, but like his hair's all grown out and he's mm -hmm. wearing all white. And I'm like, that's like the opposite of emo. And I sing Popular Monster all the time, though. So you know that song. Well, yeah, it's not like I haven't heard their music, but like I don't look at them. Yeah. We're going to commercial now, guys. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, so intermission Go. was over Go. and Disturbed came on stage and they also did an amazing job. See, David Draymond um, apologized because he said he had a, a sinus infection so his voice wasn't good. But I couldn't even tell because he didn't say that until later in the show. And I could not tell because his vocals were amazing. Like almost better live than in recording. Like so good. And he did all the good songs. We actually left one song early though because we didn't really know that song very well and we wanted to beat the crowds because there's so many people. But he did this thing that my mom says apparently he does at every show. Um, where It's not just him, it's every rock band. Okay, well I don't know, I've never been to a concert. Okay, but I, I thought I told you this is like Okay, whatever. Every... Okay, sorry. <laughs> but, sorry y'all, I'm like PMSing. But she anyway. Is. What do you mean? You said it. You're not supposed to agree. You Why think not? I have an attitude or something? Why can't I agree? You think I have an attitude? You are an attitude. Oh my god. It's pretty accurate because there's there's only about two days a month where you are yourself, where you speak like a normal human being. I always speak like a normal human being. No. What do you mean no? 
Do you hear you? Do you hear the attitude in your voice? What do you mean no? Well, that's just who I am then. I don't know. People hate me. I'm one of those people that no one's neutral about. Everyone either no, loves everyone, me or hates me. That's not true. Everyone loves you because you are very much the girl that's like, um, very much like I will just sit down and be quiet just to let you have your word. That's good. And I'm very much like I will speak my word whether it hurts your feelings <laughs> or not because I don't care. But literally, I'm not. I'm just saying though. Like people either love me or hate me. There's no like. Oh, I just kind of like her. It's there's no neutral people with me. Yeah, someone on TikTok said that we need to start um, counting caffeine as a drug. Because it is a drug, but like counting it as a addictive drug. But like ha ha being addicted to caffeine isn't going to mess your life up. You don't, go to, you don't go to rehab for being addicted to caffeine. Right. You're not going to OD. Well, that's not true. You can die overdosing on caffeine. You can overdose on anything. You can you overdose on water. But like, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't cause you to be all weak. It's just caffeine. <laughs> I mean, it gives you the shits, but... It gives you jitteries, too. It gives you jitteries. <laughs> it gives you jitteries. What was I going to say? It gives you the jitteries. About the concert. You were going to say that... Uh, he pulled this, people on stage. What he did at the end of the... Oh, concert. yeah! How'd you remember? Oh, my God. <laughs> so, basically, um, at the end of the concert, he, like, did one song, and then he goes, literally literally goes thank you bye goodbye which honestly i was like and everyone who pro i was like that is the most lame out like exit ever just thank you goodbye <laughs> but he walked off stage and people started leaving but How apparently to thing he came back and he performed like three more songs yeah it's called the encore yeah but you've heard of an encore haven't you yeah Puss in Boots does it in his movie. He he le he like stops and everyone's like, one more song. And he's like, okay, okay, one more song, one more song. I love how you associate encores with Puss in Boots. <laughs> I love Puss in Boots. Yeah, the show was really good 10 out of 10 josie and i want to be concert people now because that was just so fun yeah savannah was never a concert person before this and it wasn't it wasn't just because we didn't we didn't take her to concerts it, she never really showed like a lot of interest no in it. i was extremely nervous honestly i the thought of concerts made me very anxious because i'm i get socially anxious mm -hmm. and so first would be the crowds and like which oh my god literally Josie and I were holding hands and like in the like pushing through the crowds it ooh, it boils my blood it makes well, me angry I don't know if this is other people or this is just me but you know how people like us and you know people with anxiety get nervous in crowds mm -hmm. I get more nervous around a small crowd than a large crowd well so do I but like when it comes to big crowds when you're in a public place that's super crowded my irritability comes out like okay for instance, we went to the aquarium in Tennessee, and I think, I don't know if mom remembers well, this, but I, I there was, it was so crowded, I got angry at it, everyone. Listen, it wasn't because specifically that it was crowded, it was more so that the, it was like you couldn't freely go look at stuff because... Yeah, and you could move so like many, an inch a second. Yeah, there were so many people ahead of you that you, you were... Uh, at the mercy of the person in front of you because you couldn't go any faster. Yeah, I, it, ooh, ooh, And it so like just... at, for concerts, like like you said, like walking through the main room to get to the uh, auditorium um, or whatever it's called, uh, that is more anxiety inducing than just being in that big room. It's just because of all the long lines, right? And you don't know what line is for what. And when you go to wait in a line, 
I'm I'm impatient as it is, so when I go to wait in a line that's just super crowded, I hate it. It I, just makes me mad. Well, I also get, um, maybe this is just me, but I also instantly get that feeling of now I'm so overwhelmed with all the people that I can't remember what door I came out of, so now I can't remember what door to go back into <coughs> to find my seat. Because it's something about, even though I know what door, I don't know because the, the the crowds and everything overwhelms me to the point where I'm like, shit, what door did I come out of? Yeah, but I don't know. It was it was really fun though. I was glad. I'm glad that I was like singing and stuff without actually worrying about what people around me were thinking. Yeah, I think that all, it also helped that I went with Josie because when I go places with Josie, I'm a lot more extroverted. Yeah. It was a fun experience. So, well, here's the thing, um, I will get copyrighted if I show you a ton of clips, so what I think I'm going to try to do is show um, just a few seconds of the actual song and then maybe I'll put copyright music over parts if I want to, if there's anything that I want to show you, but for sure I'm going to show you some of Sound of Silence because I, I can't remember if I said this before, but that's the one song I've never seen them do in concert because I haven't seen them in concert in 10 years. Yeah, Daughter of the Year right here. Yeah, she got this. I told her I wouldn't record at all. Yeah, she did. So I'm going to go ahead and end this uh, very long vlog here, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit like, subscribe if you haven't done that yet, and I will see you next time. Bye, poopies.